Now we can move to the to the next part of our um, presentation. But before turning it over to Gary, um, I'd like to ask Jeremy McKeon, the president of the Executive Council, to say a few words and share an announcement. Thank you so much, Alex, uh, for giving me the opportunity uh, to address everyone today. And thank you all to all of our brothers uh, for joining. Congratulations to all of the scholarship recipients. They're very well deserved. Uh, but since the 155th convention in 1995, Sayyip Law Fraternity has honored 25 alumni brothers whose service has brought honor to our fraternity. The Distinguished Alumni Service Award is reserved for those select few brothers whose selflessness and generosity is most notable amongst the many who volunteer in so many different ways. Over the last 20 plus years, our brother Gary Pan has been one of the strongest supporters of Sai Upsilon and a steadfast member of the Foundation Scholarship Committee. In 2014, Gary joined the Foundation Board of Directors, all while continuing to engage with the undergraduate Ada chapter and keeping the bonds <clears throat> between generations strong. His recent uh, leadership at, of the Greek Alumni Council at Lehigh has formed <clears throat> what has been formed at a critical inflection point for the Greek system at Lehigh and has built a strong tie between alumni, undergraduates, and university administrators. He has done this while running his own uh, company in the Washington DC area and about four hours away from Lehigh University, as well as leading the regional Boy Scouts in his area and being a national leader of Rotary, all while running for state representative seat in Virginia. It, it's not only these accomplishments, but also his Benevident, benevolently provocative style, asking dif difficult questions, pushing out of the box thinking that I believe makes him effective and ever so valuable in his leadership. As a surprise to him and with many of his and my fellow Ada brothers joining this call today, it is my pleasure to announce here at this scholarship presentation that's incredibly fitting uh, the Executive Council of Sai Upsilon would like to present the Distinguished Alumni Service Award to Gary Pan, Ada 84, for his tireless service to this program, the Ada chapter, and so many individual brothers who he has supported over the years. Congratulations to you, Gary. Thank you. And we look forward to so much more in the years to come. Now it's my honor to invite Brother Pan to be our keynote speaker and provide his address. Congratulations, Gary, thank you so much. Well, Jeremy, uh, thank you to you, the Executive Council and the entire fraternity. Uh, this is a fantastic surprise and um, I'm humbled. Uh, uh, it's an amazing uh, distinction in that there's so many great people that uh, have been recognized in the past. So thank you so much. Um, congratulations to all the award recipients. Uh, this is a, an incredible thing. Um, you know, you heard a little bit about uh, from Dick, Brother Dick uh, Rasmussen, about uh, all the hard work that is put in behind the scenes to recognize you guys. Um, and reading through these applications is just a, a fantastic opportunity for us alumni to get back to the undergraduate setting and kind of like relive our experiences through you guys. I wanted to share a little bit about myself and my personal SIU journey. Um, in high school, I was probably much like you guys uh, and gals. I played sports, I had tons of friends, studied hard, got decent grades. Um, one thing that was a little different was that when I graduated from high school, um, my friend's parents would ask, so Gary, what are you gonna do after college, uh, high school? And I'd say, well, I have a 10 year plan. I'd lay it out to them and all my friends would be like, 
you're such a jerk, Gary. How could you do that to me? Because they were trying to figure out what they wanted to do. But I was fortunate that I had a good solid 10 year plan for myself. One area that I was struggling though with was that uh, I was exceptionally shy. I couldn't speak in public. Uh, and certainly I couldn't talk to girls at that time. So uh, these are things that I knew that I had to overcome and I did eventually. Um, and a lot of that came through my experience as undergrad. Um, as with you, uh, current undergrads, academics was very important, but it was not just about academics that I wanted to go to college. I wanted to actually do a lot more. I, want, I was hungry for more experiences. I wanted to develop my public speaking skills as well as my leadership skills. So when I went to Lehigh, the ADA, I wasn't planning on joining a fraternity. Um, and some of you guys remarked about that type of situation in your essays. But when I met the brothers, I knew that it was a home for me and it was some place that I belonged. Um, well, overall, while I was in college, I was probably much like you. I was uh, volunteering a lot. I was on the student senate. I was on the school paper. I was a judicial chair for the IFC. I was a chapter of treasurer, Rush Chair, Vice President, Archon. I was actually really fortunate enough to uh, represent the undergraduates on the Undergraduate Advisory Board. Um, and I was able to work with a lot of the international office members, staff, and the Executive Council. And that was fantastic because I also had an opportunity to go to the conventions. So I met some wonderful mentors along that way. And that really helped me understand you know, of our chapters while we are autonomous and we are very different in a lot of ways, we all share common bonds and it is fantastic. And you know, it, it has actually strengthened me over the years in, in regards to how strong those bonds can be, whether through friendships, business or whatnot. I, I gotta share one thing about my undergraduate experience though, that is a regret. And it is that I did not apply for a SIU scholarship. So I'm really glad that all of you guys took the energy to do that. I encourage you to inspire others to do likewise in the future. Um, I was talking about alumni <coughs> um, that were really inspirational and motivating for me. Um, Tom Fox's predecessor, Henry B. Poor, Gamma 30, 39. He was, uh, our offices were in Paoli, Pennsylvania and he would come over to our chapter often. And it was an amazing experience to talk with him about um, moral leadership and the direction that he was trying to inspire us young under, undergrads to go towards. Um, and so he was a very, very big figure in my undergraduate experience and beyond. Let me tell you a little bit about after graduating from Lehigh. I did study there. I got my degree in electrical engineering. And uh, after I graduated, I continued with my 10-year plan, which was to start a small uh, uh, IT information technology government contracting firm. But before that, I went to a small firm to get all of this great experience there. And um, I've had my company Panacea Consulting for 31 years. And in 1999, we were recognized by Inc. Magazine as the 74th fastest growing privately held firm. I also started another firm, Lucid Technology, which was recognized by the same magazine as the 17th fastest in 2009. I've got a lot of business experience and it's been fantastic. And I went on to also get my MBA and I also pursued my doctorate in management as well. All along the way, I did that part, you know, it, the, the post-grad stuff I did part-time while I was raising my family and doing my business. And uh, it had, was a lot of energy, but I know just like many of you guys, you have a lot of energy and you wanna apply it as efficiently and effectively as possible, which is fantastic based upon your applications. One thing that I learned from my undergrad experience and my, um, my SIU journey was about community engagement. Um, let me talk about the scholarship committee and how I came there. Henry V. Poor, who I referenced earlier, he passed away in 2009. He was a big devotee of the scholarship program. He was the biggest advocate for it. But when he passed away, I was asked to take on uh, a position on the committee. And of course I did it in his honor. And over the years, you know, as Dick mentioned, we've seen tremendous applications and this year has been fantastic. And one of the things that's really awesome for me as an alum is I get to go through these essays and through these applications and see what it's like to live on campus, to be part of the fraternity, um, to be an undergraduate. And I'm not just talking about just my chapter, the ADA. 
I'm talking about all the chapters that I have an opportunity to read up on. Um, you know, things of note, you know, I, I, I'm, mem I've, I'm amazed by the Sayu dance at Pepperdine. I have not heard about that type of stuff. And as a result, I did go take a look at some of the uh, YouTubes on it. Uh, the I Have Darkness Walk at uh, University of Mary Washington uh, in, for her suicide prevention, that was inspirational. Our chapters and our members do amazing things. But given the opportunity in regards to the scholarship committee, I wanted to encourage all of you guys to jump on board if you're given that chance and become a, a member. Let me talk about uh, this Curtis J. Recky um, scholarship. Now, Kurt was two years older than me um, and he was working for a Paul Allen company up in Pennsylvania. Paul Allen was one of the co-founders of Microsoft with Bill Gates. Um, and we were talking and I finally convinced him to come down to DC to work with me at my company to help start it up. And what happened is that uh, <clears throat> we worked together for uh, a dozen years and he was one of my first key employees. Um, he eventually, after, after all those years, he actually uh, succumbed to leukemia and passed away. It was a very, very tough time for me. Uh, I see a partner, a friend and brother with so much ambition and energy suffer and fall. Um, as a member of the scholarship committee, I, I saw that it, there was an opportunity to build out a, a scholarship in his name. Um, so we worked with the other undergraduates from the ADA and we funded this scholarship. <clears throat> and Brandon, um, you're one of the recipients of it and congratulations there from the ADA. I wanted to share with you that it really does make it more personal, more special. So um, while you are um, receiving name re recognition scholarships today, think back and maybe do a little research on who that person is and try to think about, you know, how you may have connectivity because that's important. Um, today, I continue to try to make a difference. Um, as mentioned, I'm very involved with SIU. Um, also at Lehigh, as, a, I'm, as an alum, I'm very involved with the engineering college, with the chapter, um, as well as the entire Greek community. I'm also, <clears throat> as uh, Jeremy referenced, Scoutmaster for many, many years. Uh, I, I'm the incoming president of Rotary in my community. And I've started a number of other youth programs, um, principally trying to support the underserved youth community. I'm very active in my professional uh, boards as well. Um, as I hope you all do, I continue to try to elevate my game and challenge myself to make a difference. I share my personal community service journey as I believe that it's something that you will also consider doing in the future. Um, let me see, I got a click here. Ah, so as Jeremy referenced, you know, I, I think it's very important to make a difference, not just our, in our families, not just in our own um, organizations, but in a wider community. And, you know, I am actually running for the House of Delegates in Virginia because I want to bring common sense to government because uh, I think that there's a lot of craziness going on and we need some more people who are more business minded, not necessarily just politicians representing us. Um, let me talk about that a little bit uh, from a, a landscape perspective. You know, we have, we're going through a very complex time. We're navigating challenging times here culturally. Uh, we have, we have um, <clears throat> specifically for our community, abolished Greek life. You probably heard of it. <clears throat> These are scary things in regards to the power of social media. We have cancel culture. We have wokeness. We have all sorts of things that are really out there. Um, and these are things that are going to be critical of our, what we believe is important. Um, we need to make sure that we continue to have our, live up to our fine reputation um, and live a life of distinction. It's important for us to highlight our positives as Greek members. Uh, and while social media and the press focus on negatives and highlight them because it sells papers and generalize often, we must make it make others aware of all the good things that we do. We don't always talk about them. We do tons of community service. We give back to the community. You know, we have a fantastic academic standing and yet we don't talk about it. But one thing that I try to tell all my scouts and my own boys and everyone around me that are youth, if it's true, then it's not bragging. So we should actually get it out there and make sure that people know what's going on, okay? Especially when it's positive. 
So at SIU, we have our, our values, lifelong leadership, uh, moral leadership, intellectual engagement, responsible social conduct, service to society. Our scholarship recipients today exemplify these values. Through scholarship and mentoring, SIU and our generous alumni are investing in each of you. In closing, I wanna share some expectations and challenges. Encourage other members of your chapters to apply to, for SIU scholarships down the road. Although it would mean having to review tons more, and Dick's gonna be mad at me too probably, tons more uh, applications, we love that opportunity. Um, and we actually would also love to see more chapters participate in the scholarship program. I wanna challenge you to use your skills to make a difference in your chapters, universities, the fraternity and beyond. It's not, these are your superpowers. And if you just hold it to yourself, that's, that's one thing. But if you can make it, make a difference in a wider and wider community, that's all the better. Be leaders and inspire others. You can be a, the multiplier effect in regards to all the good things that we do. And remember where you come from and help others get to where you are today or where you will be in the future. Along your journey, always remember to give back to those who have made a difference in your lives. So it's been a fantastic afternoon here. Congratulations again to all of our awardees and Thank you very much for your attendance today and thank you for the recognition uh, from the fraternity today as well. Thank you so much. Gary, it's such a pleasure to, uh, to hear you speak. Um, first of all, I, I just wanna recognize that I do not know what your job is any more before <laughs> the speech than after. That's great. Uh, <laughs> so well, You sound like my kids then. <laughs> I really look forward to understanding what government contracting really means. <laughs> well, you know, uh, yeah, so if you ask the government, they might have a challenge explaining it to, to too. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it at that. For your campaign, I'll leave it at that. But uh, um, Gary, I, I think it's all, I just want to mention this to you. You know, few people, um, as an undergraduate, there are many people who, whose names get circulated around chapter houses. And uh, I, I came to Lehigh um, 20 plus years after you, um, although you're looking pretty good. That is the, the statistically that's accurate. Um, I, your name was, was one that really sound, resounded with me and I continue to, to hear uh, when I speak to undergraduates. And um, I don't think I would be doing this job without you as the uh, as as someone who I met as an undergraduate, and uh, by job I mean <laughs> a volunteer. Uh, but <laughs> but I will just say, uh, <laughs> but it but it 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 really does stand true that that I think our um, that that our our honoring you with this with this award is only the tip of the iceberg for who you are and who and, and what I think you will accomplish uh, for this fraternity. So uh, congratulations.